What is the difference between a PhD thesis and an MPhil thesis? On, uh, in other words, what is the criteria on the basis of which the examiners uh, or the supervisors decide whether the thesis deserves the award of an MPhil degree or a PhD degree for the research student? This is um, uh, a difficult question to respond to because in many cases, um, uh, personally, as a, a, an evaluator of research thesis, I find it quite interesting and difficult uh, to decide this because in many cases, uh, the research thesis at the master's or MPhil level and PhD level are quite similar in terms of the content in ter and in terms of the conduct of the research um, and in terms of the methodological considerations and in terms of the write-up. So what is it that can help research um, evaluators or examiners of thesis to decide whether the PhD, the, the, the thesis, the research thesis actually deserves uh, a PhD degree or an MPhil degree? So this is the question that we will briefly respond to. Now, first of all, the, um, the PhD thesis generally the topic involves higher innovation and there is more originality and newness. So PhD students are expected to come up with <clears throat> ideas that are, uh, that are quite new and so the work is quite innovative and because the main purpose of a PhD thesis is, is to actually aid to uh, to knowledge or to create new knowledge, new science and theory. And so that is why higher innovation, originality and newness um, is important in terms of the topic selection on a PhD level. On the other hand, in MPhil, at the MPhil level, generally there is moderate innovation. There is still innovation there. There should be some originality as well and newness, but the kind of radical thing that is generally required in PhD is generally not required in the MPhil thesis um, or not expected. Secondly, the complexity of the research questions, objectives and hypotheses. So generally in the PhD thesis, the, 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 the PhD researchers are expected to come up with more complex, more intriguing uh, research questions um, and a variety of research objectives and deeper critical research hypotheses. On the other hand, um, in the, at the MPhil or master's level, generally the research questions and hypotheses, the research objectives are generally presented, uh, they are more simpler, so they are generally representing simpler relationships or, or simpler descriptions of the, uh, of the research variables or the research topics. The next important difference between a PhD and MPhil thesis is that generally in a PhD, at the PhD level, the research students are expected to come up with deeper critical analysis of the background and the literature review. And they need to clearly establish research gap, but also criti to critically analyze and evaluate that research gap so that they can justify uh, the conduct of that particular research. On the other hand, at the MPhil level, the background literature review or gap analysis um, is deep, but this is generally mainly descriptive. And so there is generally analysis is involved, but as in comparison to the PhD level, where there is more deeper and critical analysis involved of the previous literature or background, here, the analysis at the MPhil level is generally more descriptive uh, level. So, as there is a deeper analysis involved, and so the research students need to explore a lot of research, so, so what happens is that at the PhD level, uh, we have high word count, or, and so the research thesis are quite bulky in comparison to the MPhil level where there is generally uh, the, the, the size of the research thesis, mainly because of the background that is not in that detail, is, is low. Uh, the next thing is the methodology 
the methodological considerations or the methodology section that distinguishes the research, uh, the uh, MPhil and PhD thesis. So, um, in the methodology, is, uh, uh, in the methodology section, what happens is that generally the PhD thesis begins with description of the methodological choices. Then there is deeper rationalization, evaluation, um, and critical and justification of the methodological choices. Uh, for example, so the research design, and there is critical analysis, there is um, there is generally comparison of the various research designs and the justification of those. And so the selection of research methodologies will be justified. The non-selection of some certain other methodologies will also be justified. Again, there is um, uh, evaluation of the, the data um, uh, collection and analysis uh, procedures, the validity and reliability issues, and so on. Um, there is also a deeper level of triangulation, um, which actually means exploring the topic in more than one ways. And so collecting data in more than one ways, uh, deeper analysis in multiple ways, and so on. And also at the PhD level, there is practical and the theoretical considerations of the um, research design. On the other hand, in terms of the um, as far as MPhil thesis is concerned, generally the research methodology is at the descriptive level. So for example, the researchers will just generally uh, describe what method they are using and they can give some justification of that. But generally there is no uh, uh, deeper critical evaluation of the various possible methodological choices at the level that we are expected at the PhD level. And so there is simpler rationalization of the methodological choices. For example, what research design has been used and why, and what data collection and analysis, what type of samples were used, and uh, what authentication uh, uh, procedures were used, and so on. And so the practical considerations are described in, in, a, in a more simpler way as uh, compared to the PhD level where there is deep in, uh, analysis and critical uh, justification and rationalization. Um, then <clears throat> the discussion section of a PhD uh, thesis is the discussion and interpretation section. So there is deeper critical uh, discussion on the findings. Uh, the, there are there is need for the representation of and the cross-examination of multiple perspectives related to the findings. Um, there is theoretical detail in the discussion section where the findings are actually discussed in the light of previous theories related to the field. Uh, critical summaries are made uh, and presented and so the conclusions are drawn um, uh, on a very critical level. The findings and conclusion section in a PhD thesis begins with the presentation um, and analysis of the findings, and then there is critical evaluation of those findings and conclusions, and so the recommendations that uh, we come up with are based on an analysis and a critical evaluation of the findings and the conclusions. So again, a lot of criticality, more detail, and uh, uh, so there is an um, analysis, multi multiple perspectives are analyzed, and so the findings are not just accepted uh, as whatever comes from the empirical analysis of our data, but they are challenged by the researcher, researchers themselves, and as a result, there is more critical analysis involved there. On the other hand, at the MPhil or master's level, the discussion and interpretation are done at adequate level. Generally, this discussion is at a descriptive level where there are there is some level of comparison with other perspectives, but that's not that critical deeper level. <clears throat> at this level, the researchers are not expected to challenge their own findings at a higher critical level. <clears throat> Generally, lesser theoretical detail 
and limited perspectives are represented in the discussion section. The findings, conclusion, and the presentation are of the findings is generally at the descriptive level. The recommendations are straightforwardly based on the findings of the study. Um, and so overall we can say there is, that there is lesser critical, less, less deeper analysis of the findings and conclusions of the study in the discussion section. Um, and then uh, lastly, it is also very important that the PhD thesis has a very high quality of presentation. Um, the, there is strict adherence to the format. The language is, is, is accurate. And so there are no grammar language issues over there. And so the, the, uh, it is a clean and very, very academic presentation of the thesis. Also, there is need for high quality of accuracy, depth of the supporting material. Um, for example, the, the original empirical data, the references and the appendices should be a, of very high quality and they should be well uh, represented in the thesis. On the other hand, at the MPhil level, again, or the master level, again, uh, there is expectation that it should be good quality in terms of the presentation, in terms of the writing and language, the format, but again, the kind of, of the high level of academic language that is expected at the PhD level might not be expected at the master's or MPhil level. Um, again, there is need for good quality, supporting material, references, and appendices. And the very last thing is that generally, PhD theses go for evaluation to outside generally the universities to other academics in the field, generally experts, sometimes outside the country, while in many cases master's degrees or MPhil th uh, theses are generally evaluated on a local level inside the country or in some cases inside the universities. So this is a general distinction uh, uh, distinctive points between a PhD and MPhil thesis, and I hope this will help research students uh, and also um, evaluators in terms of distinguishing the, diff the, the, the MPhil and PhD thesis and uh, simplifying or understanding the process of evaluation of, uh, of actually development of the thesis and evaluation of 